Hello, everybody. Um, this is drawing two, um, your micro pen architectural project. Um, in this one, this is a continuation of your pen and ink project you did with the, the calligraphy that we did and the tattooing. Um, I wanted to still continue the, the, the pen concept because um, there's a lot of cool things that you can create with our work with just a pen. Um, and the ones that we use uh, for this project are going to be your Sharpies. Um, however, if you wanted to do something much finer to get a lot of uh, detail, um, I take the back. It's not the Sharpies, it's the micro, um, the micro pen. That's why I called it the micro pen project. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so you have that. And what's nice about that pen is that you can get really cool, um, thin um, detail uh, with that. That's why we put the money into doing it. Um, everybody's micro pen is different. Um, on the very end of the tip of the cap, it has a number on it. Um, you buy those in sets. Um, I can't easily buy them in individuals um, kind of thing. So if you use one uh, and you're working you know, with other people and you actually grab theirs, theirs might be a little bit of a different thickness. So just be aware of that. Um, I do have a few extra ones that if you wanted to switch yours out with mine, um, you'll let me know and I can help you out with it. So um, first thing, um, let's kind of talk about the assignment. This is written a little bit differently than what's currently on um, Schoology. So I'm going to read the Schoology one because that's a little more up to date. So as in this project, you will continue developing your drawing skills. It's a drawing class. Um, and learn one and two point perspective. Okay. Um, after the demonstrations, you will either design an original house or work from an angled photo of your house, trailer, apartment complex, or whatever. Okay. So those are, those are the two that you can choose from. Okay. So either create your dream home, you know, if you, if you could imagine, you know, within, you know, after you kind of get yourself established in a career and, and you have the money to actually make or build something original, you know, or whatever, um, you know, or talk to an architect uh, for that, or even maybe this, maybe this project might inspire you to become an architect, an architect, just because there's a lot of fun ways to kind of mess around with space, you know, in the project. Um, so either, so the goal is for you in drawing two and three and four uh, is to try to work on your own creativity. If your goal in mind is to get a career in art, if you're just taking drawing two, cause you enjoy drawing, enjoy the class. Um, again, that's, that's, that's perfectly fine. And if you don't want to be original at that point, that that's okay. Um, and then that's why the second option is, is put in. Um, where you work on this angled photo. When I say angled photo, it means that I want like the, the front of the house and part of the side. So you have this corner to play with because then that becomes this two point perspective that you'll play around with. If you just take a shot from just the front, um, you can't easily get a perspective drawing on that. Okay, so you gotta make sure that it has to be an angled shot. And same thing when you design your original house, you'll kind of base it off of generally the videos you'll see in class because they teach you how to do one point and two point perspective. Um, but you, but, but I still want to make sure that you are, you're including that because that is a, a chunk of your grade, which is you understanding and showing a proficiency in one and two point perspective. Okay. Um, there are, are, I'm sure like anything else, there are other possibilities. Uh, so if you have something that you don't feel fits either of those two directions, um, let me know and, and like anything else, I try to be as flexible as I can, as long as I feel like you're still meeting, you know, the, our standards that we're, that we're establishing with the project. Um, uh, I'm not just reading through this, it says, but the photo must be yours or friends. Um, so that photo that you're working from with your house, um, it just has to be your, your a shot that you took. Um, and again, I can print it off. That's why I have that, you know, um, transparency color request slide, you know, link that's on, on all, all your projects. Um, if you, if you want to slide, um, now you might say, well, can I do like my grandmom's house or, or my uncle's house? That's fine too. Um, when I did this project, um, before, um, in another class in a summer class, um, I did my wife's parents' house and, <clears throat> um, and that was in pencil, but they all really liked it. And, and so for Christmas, um, I'm going to get a, a hard copy of all them professionally and get it matted and, and everybody can have a photo of the house that grew up in. So. Okay, let's jump back <coughs> to the worksheet here. Sorry. <coughs> so the assignment after completing the tutorials, <coughs> how to draw one and two points perspective, design a original house, and then, like I said, you also can work off of your house or a relative's house. Um, use these techniques to enhance the drawing, not limit it. 
So when you learn how to do this one point perspective here and this two point perspective, um, not all your line, not all your lines go to that. Okay, um, some of the main lines go to that, like your window lines go to that, um, and that's how you get things to look like they are enlarging and shrinking. You know, at, in the photo. Okay, and I can help you out with that if you kind of if you're in class and you have it. I can help you out with your lines. But not every line goes to that. Just just usually about three or four main lines, and then everything else is just dependent. You know, your your roof lines don't the pitch on your on your roof lines don't go to that. The very top of the line of your roof goes to that. But the angle that comes down that pitch it, that doesn't go to any line because that can that can change. However, if you want a forty five degree roof or um, like a hundred and thirty five degree roof or whatever the measurements are on that, so so don't worry about that so much. Um, so that's what you need to do. So when you start a project, there's always going to be some sort of a tutorial. So complete a sketch of each video and learn how to draw a house. Don't spend more than three days uh, on these sketches. Okay, um, they are meant to teach you perspective and textual drawings, not the final project. So don't be consumed with this. Okay, and you might say, well, what size should I make these on? I mean, this should be relatively small. I mean, look at the size of the guy's uh, pencil right there. Because so it's not going to be like a twelve by eighteen. It might be something like a five by seven little um, index card, you know, that you can kind of pull something out on. Okay, um, so so just so I guess that just like a um, a five by seven um, on that, so, which means I need to change the basic directions um, um, because it's not it's not meant to be a final thing. So I sorry I'm sorry that I screwed that one up. See, there's another mistake. Um, so keep these as a five by seven. Um, on the basic um, directions, um, the break, our directions are wrong on that. So I will try to change that and, and redo that. So five by seven. Um, so do this one, um, do this one, and this one right here um, as well. Um, you should do this one because this one kind of goes over um, basic um, techniques in terms of how to uh, get in. So does that mean I need to complete all of these? Um, not. Not to the point again where you're spending more than three days. So this is a day, this is a day, this is a day. Okay. So you have you have 15 days on a project. Three of them are going to be spent um, kind of learning the perspective. Okay. Um, after that, um, come down below. Um, watch this interview here with uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Um, he's an actual Wisconsin artist. Um, so it's 29 minutes, 46 seconds. Um, so watch this video, write down how Frank Lloyd Wright's architecture was different at the time um, and why why was he unique? You know, why is it that of all the architects are out there, people know Frank Lloyd Wright? You know, what was so special about him? And write down three reasons why. Um, also look at the 9-11 memorial. Um, I have never been to it myself. Um, it's crazy that this was like such a long time ago now because it still feels like yesterday, but but it was my first year teaching when this happened, so it was, it was quite a while ago. When designing a memorial, a lot of times architects generate a lot of symbolism. So after watching this video, write down five of those symbols. So write down five of them from the 9-11 memorial. Okay. Um, you might, the video hopefully will hit that, but if I remember right, it doesn't hit, hit all of them. So you might have to do a little bit of research um, to figure out why, why the architect decided to do certain things on there okay um and, and just kind of complete that for kind of like a historical thing down below are um textual references in terms of like bricks um so if you design an original house you can here's some things you can kind of look at um here are just textures um that you can kind of play around with um for the final product um i am looking for something like this um that you will be doing so here's a couple of things everything on here is angled you know, it's not where you where you see the front and you see a little bit of the side. See the front, a little bit of the side. See the front, a little bit of the side. Um, not all these are a complete house. Like this one's really focusing in on that porch. And that's fine. Okay, if you just want to focus in on one part, that's okay. Also understand it incor incorporates um, maybe a driveway, maybe a, um, a walkway, has lots of vegetation um, around it, um, a picket fence. Um, here's a light post right here. Um, you need to incorporate those as well in your design, okay? Because if you got into architectural drawing and and um, doing these renderings um, as an architect, they want to see 
instead of before they throw millions and millions of dollars into like a, a large, larger uh, product or project, they want to see, you know, what it would look like in 10 years, you know, when, when everything's kind of grown up, you know, around there, because they want to see what, what that time um, would, would look like um, over, over time. Um, so again, 20% of your grade is based on that, those examples and your uh, Frank and then 9-11 uh, write-ups. Um, so that's super important. 30% um, is based on students will create a unique house full of details. Again, copying a house that you live in or relative lives in is fine, um, but it's full of details, roads, vegetation, people, if you want to get that in. Students will create lots of highlights and shadows and pen. Um, so I remember that goes back to your first project um, where you did like the cross hatching. So the, t the more of an area you fill in with that pen and ink, the darker it's going to be. So that's your shadow. Um, so then your area that you're, you're not filling in, you know, that's your highlights. Um, so you have to find, find a ways to be able to incorporate that in there. Um, and then, you know, just to make sure that you are doing the right thing, you know, students will create a house in one or two point perspective. So if I decide by looking at this where, and I ask you, where are your vanishing points? And you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. You never watched the videos. You never, you never did what you were supposed to, and you didn't learn anything on that. Um, so you would lose those points entirely. Okay, you have to know what a vanishing point is if you're doing a one and two point perspective. Okay. Um, other than that, I will make a couple changes um, on this, and this stuff won't be there. So I apologize that um, I missed that. So, other than that. Um, get all that stuff done, submit your idea for approval, um, and then you can get going. So good luck on it. I wanted to show you how to lay out your um, design for your uh, practice pieces on your on the worksheet because um, it might have been a little confusing um, on there because I, I changed a couple things. Um, so remember that you are going to be using a 12 by 18 sheet of paper um, for your practice pieces, but you're gonna do it in a five by seven area, okay? Um, the nice thing about doing this is that sometimes your vanishing points go off to the side, so it's easier to create a drawing in an area like here and then rely on a point out in space somewhere that you can take a ruler and be able to get like your roof lines and your window lines and stuff like that. Okay, so I have this. Um, you can do the same thing. You can grab a, like a scrap sheet of paper, cut it out as a five by seven and just use it as a template. Um, so I'm just gonna lay this down, kind of guess where the center is at. I'm gonna use a pen just because you can see the line a lot better in the videos when I, use, when I draw on pen versus pencil. But I'm just gonna go around the outside here. And I have that. And I'm going to call this one point, okay? Because this is your demo for your one point perspective. I'm going to flip this over. Now again, when you have pen, you leave it down for a long time to get those dots. You're going to do your some pencil for the practice part, um, at least, um, in terms of laying out this, this here. Um, but I don't think the micro pen would go through the paper. And it doesn't really matter a whole lot anyways, because this is just your sample to show that you understand one and two point perspective, okay? So one side will have the one point, the other side will have the two point. The third one, I want you to watch it because it goes over um, textures. And the thing is with the textures, I want you to be able to apply those textures to either this drawing or to this drawing, okay? So you don't come up with a third um, drawing for your practice. You're going to turn in this sheet for your, for your, it's, it's almost 20% of your grade, um, to show that you understand how to do this from the video, that you understand how to do this from the video, and then also understand how to apply texture to either this one or this one. Okay. So 12 by 18 inch sheet of paper, five by seven area. And then here is where you have your vanishing points at, you know, and then they'll go over, um, and teach you how to, um, do the, the roof lines and then, um, and then your house, you know, and then you'll start figuring everything, everything, I'm sorry, that was a bad line. <laughs> um, start figuring everything out in terms of how to draw in perspective. Okay. Um, hope that answers a couple other questions and um, thank you very much.